Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of Federico Talks Watches. Today, I'm going to review one of the best bang per buck skeleton watches you can buy. Let's roll in the new intro for 2019. Hey guys, and as I said, welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Today, I'm doing a review, and it's a review of another micro brand. I'm trying to broaden my horizons a little bit, and I'm going to be sprinkling these in not too often. I'll probably do one every three or four months. And today, we're reviewing the Zelos Sky Raider. Thank you so much to Zelos for sponsoring this video. Now, once again, guys, even though this video is sponsored, my opinion is entirely my own. And of course, a customary wristwatch check. I am wearing the Zello Sky Raider because I've been wearing it for the past couple of weeks to give it uh, a thorough review. And that's what we're going to talk about today. First, a few little tidbits about the brand. The brand was started in 2014. Uh, it is a micro brand, but, you know, not it won't be for long. Uh, it's based out of Singapore, and it's actually one of the few brands out there that has a retail presence. This isn't just another Kickstarter brand. You can actually buy these in retail stores. Uh, they've got stores in Macau, Hong Kong, uh, Singapore, nothing in the West yet, but I'm sure that's soon to come. So when Zelos reached out to me, they said, hey, Federico, you know, we love your videos. We'd love for you to review our new skeletonized watch, and they gave me the specs. I thought, you know what? That is a very interesting timepiece. So this is it right here. It is the Zelos Sky Raider. It is 40, I'm just looking down at my sheet to give you all the specs. It is 42.5 millimeters, made out of grade five titanium with a double sapphire case, uh, front and back. It uses C3 loom, and of course it uses an ETA 6498 but not any 6498 we're going to get to that in a second and of course it also comes on a beautiful horween strap now when i got it the first thing i thought is oh boy this is not going well now why is that well it comes in a beautiful packaging a beautiful wood box in an absolutely gorgeous leather watch roll and you get another very high quality strap made out of canvas and horween now you'd say, Federico, why, you know, that's great packaging. Why would things start off badly? Well, it's my experience that generally, especially with micro brands, the more expensive and uh, beautiful the packaging, the crappier the watch. Uh, you know, it's not so much substance, it's more impression. Um, so yeah, when I open the box, I'm like, oh man, I hope that's not the case. Because literally every single time it's been that way. But I have to say, I was very pleasantly surprised. So reading on the, on the Zelos website, I can tell you that there's no Swiss-made claims. I mean, yes, the movement is Swiss, but they don't brand their watches Swiss-made. They don't make this fake backstory. So already, that was a very refreshing thing to see. A micro brand not tooting some fake heritage and a fake uh, factory in Switzerland. Then I took out the watch and I was very pleasantly surprised. Extremely light because it's made out of titanium, but what's really special about it, and I'm gonna put up some pictures, is the skeletonization is absolutely fantastic. I mean, it is truly skeletonized. There's even decoration on the mainspring wheel and the second wheel. They engraved their logo right by uh, the escapement. The back is all blued screws and naked jewels. Not to mention, they really skeletonized it as much as they could, so you can really see through the entire movement. Now, I've seen skeletonized watches. You know, I used to work for Piaget. They made one of the most beautiful skeletons out there, and I can tell you it's very hard to do. And I've seen some low price skeletons uh, by Maurice Lacroix, by Tissot, and most of them are generally not very impressive. But guys, this has a retail price of $13.99. A lot of you guys might say, well, isn't that really expensive for a small brand uh, with a $64.98 movement? 
Well, I'll tell you this. Considering it's made out of titanium, double sapphire crystals, and the high-quality decoration and hours of work that went into the skeletonized movement, I don't. I actually think this is one of the best bang-per-buck skeleton watches on the market right now. And I'm fully aware I'm going to get a lot of people roasting me in the comments. Yo, you're giving the watch too much of a positive review. Listen, guys, I don't pull any punches. This watch is not perfect, but I have to tell you, for the price point, it is highly impressive. And for the way the company does business, it's also highly refreshing that they're so open. Now, apart from the watch, the straps are absolutely top-notch. Horween leather all the way, titanium buckle, not necessarily laser engraved, but embossed. You get the secondary canvas strap, also Horween backed. And the watch, full of detail. I mean, honestly, this beats any sw fully Swiss-made uh, heritage brand like Tissot, uh, kicks them straight in the balls. If you compare the price point and the quality of the skeletonization, this is leaps and bounds above that. I also love that it comes with quick release straps. Very, very fun. However, uh, there are two things I don't uh, necessarily love, and I'm going to bring that up. The first thing is, when I was reading their website, I said they were very, very refreshing. No fake backstory, uh, no Swiss-made labeling, no fake heritage, and all that. However, they did mention, uh, when explaining the movement, that Panerai uses a 6498 as well. And while that is true, I would have like almost rather they not mention it, because the 6498 and the Panerai... Is, is highly modified, a swan neck regulator, different bridges, so it's not really comparable uh, at all. So their website was almost 100% perfect, but that one mention of Panerai uh, takes it down a couple of notches. The second thing is the polarizing styling. Guys, they make this in a skeleton, and they make it in a meteorite dial, both of which are very polarizing. That means you're either going to love it, or you're going to hate it. Personally, I actually really, really like this, but unfortunately I can't keep it. I do uh, have to send it back to the company, uh, or I, I would very, you know, very happily wear this watch. But I think they've got to understand that this is not going to fit a wide variety of people. There's a lot of people that are just not going to like that the design, and that's okay. Because honestly, if you don't like the design and you're just looking through it through a quality uh, perspective... It is really top-notch. I even put it on my time grapher. I had my watchmaker, Hansi, look at it. It's regulated to two seconds a day. I don't know if it's a coincidence. I don't know if, if, if I just got lucky with one or if Zellos actually hand-regulates every watch. But in my case, it was running absolutely beautifully outside the box. And I have to be honest, I don't think I've ever seen... And I've, I'm repeating myself at this point. I don't think I've ever seen the quality of skeletonization uh, anywhere near this price point. It isn't hand skeletonized. It might be slightly hand finished, but it is CNC skeletonized. However, they just did a really fantastic job. So Zelos, guys, you've done really, really well. Gentlemen, if you're interested in this uh, watch at all, I'm going to leave a link to, to their website below. It's not an affiliate link. I don't get any commission if you buy one or you don't buy one. But if you want to check it out, show support for the brand, eh, their website is in the description below. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around for another uh, quick little review. I'm going to be, as I said, sprinkling these in from time to time. Every, every couple months I might do a review of, of a watch you may not have seen otherwise. Because even though I'm a pretty well-known uh, micro-brand hater, they're not all evil, and a lot of these guys are bringing some really interesting stuff to market. Anyway, gentlemen, thank you so much for watching another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. It really does help, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.